Welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and today we're doing a 2023 review of Fubo TV. Fubo TV is one of the most popular cable alternatives that's out there. So when you think of Fubo, you think of YouTube TV, you think of Hulu Plus Live TV, Sling TV, it's gonna have similar channels, but all of these services are gonna come with a different price point. Fubo for me, is one of the best out there, a lot of sports packed in, also has one of the best user interface when it comes to streaming. So this video, what I'm gonna do is go over the free trial, the base price, channel lineup and packages, cloud DVR capacity, simultaneous streams, compatible devices. We're also gonna jump into the user interface. So we're gonna check out the TV guide on your TV as well as your mobile devices. Then we're gonna wrap it up to see how user profiles and family members are managed as well as the DVR features such as fast forwarding through commercials. And last but not least, the audio and video quality. So I will be putting timestamps in this video. So if there's an area that interests you more, feel free to skip ahead. Check the description. I will have a link where you can try Fubo TV for free. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's go ahead and start off with the free trial. Does Fubo TV have a free trial? You can see right here on the website, it does have a free trial, no hidden fees, and you can cancel anytime. So what are the terms of that free trial? So for Fubo TV, you do get a seven day free trial. You won't be charged until the trial ends. And the cool thing about Fubo TV that a lot of the other streaming services they don't do is they will remind you 24 hours before the trial's over, that way you can decide if you cancel. So I found that that a lot of these other streaming services, the hope is that you forget about the free trial, then you'll be charged automatically when that trial expires. But one thing to add is that for this free trial and most of the other services, you will need to put in payment information at sign up. And I'll go ahead and put the payment options right now on the screen. So let's jump into the base price as well as the channel packages. So Fubo TV is gonna have three basic packages. You can see they have the Pro Elite, Premiere, as well as Latino. So the Pro is gonna be $74.99. It is gonna have 150 channels, 100 plus sporting events, cloud DVR, thousand hours of space, the lead's gonna have 209 channels. It is gonna have 130 events in 4K, Fubo Extra, so 48 more channels than the Pro. And it's gonna have the same DVR as the previous package. When you get into the Premiere, you're gonna have 218 channels, 130 plus 4K events, Fubo Extra, 48 more channels, plus 11 extra channels as well. Showtime's gonna be included on demand, Cloud DVR, 1000 hours, as well as unlimited screens, 10 at home. And last but not least, we have the Latino. This is gonna have 48 channels, 100 plus sporting events, 250 hours, Cloud DVR, as well as your standard share, which is two screens at home. Very important that all of these do have a free trial as well. Here are the channels that we're gonna to expect to see on Fubo TV. So depending on your package, here's a list of channels that you expect to see on Fubo. So you can see it has some of the local stuff. So you have your ABC, your CBS, your Fox, your NBC as well, has ballet sports, Fox Sports 1 and 2. I scroll down, you can see you have Oxygen. You also have ESPN, so you have ESPN 1, ESPN 2. Going down further, you can see we have Grit, we have Telemundo, we have VH1, we have TLC. Fox Business, and then we have the regional sports below as well. And then we have TUND, a bunch of those. Those are gonna be Univision Deportes Network or American Spanish Language Sports Channel. So a bunch of those as well. Um, and that's just uh, for the main channel. So when we go to Fubo Extra, this is gonna be the additional 48 channels that we talked about when you add packages. So you're gonna have Cooking, you have NBA TV, NHL Network, MLB. Scroll down, you also have ESPN News. You have 911 Network, Destination America, BET, Her. We also have ESPNU, a bunch of additional channels. We also have a Pac-12 right there. So added more channels, mostly it's gonna be sports channels as well. We have the Plus, these are the extra 11. So we have Cheddar News, we have Ticker News, we have Euro News, Bloomberg. And further down, remember that with the last package with the Premiere, we do have Showtime included. You can see the different Showtime channels right there in addition to BET Plus. So like I said, depending on which one of these to opt for, uh, you can see that the additional 48 channels there plus the additional 11 channels for the premiere. So as the Latino package, again, this is gonna be very sports heavy. Uh, you're gonna have ESPN Deportes, Univision, Unimas. You're also gonna have uh, TUND Network as well as Discovery Espanol. So 48 channels there. And again, this is for a discounted price at $24.99. So as far as the Cloud DVR, how that works, Cloud DVR will be shared on one account. So what that means is that if you have a thousand hours and you have multiple people, multiple profiles, the hours 
are going to be split between all the users. So as far as the length of time, some companies have expiration, but what Fubo does is it stays on until you actually go ahead and delete them. So you can keep them as long as you want. Just know that that's going to take up your space. So two basic options here. You have 250 hours. That's going to be for the Espanol or the Latino package. And for the other packages, you get a thousand hours. So for the Pro, the Elite, as well as the Premiere. And a little bit later, we're going to get into how that looks and if you can fast forward and rewind skipping commercials with your DVR recordings. So when it comes to simultaneous streams, uh, you're gonna have two basic options. So for the Latino, you allow two screens at the same time. For the Premier Elite and the Pro, you allowed up to 10 screens in your home. So let me show you what's included in the Premier versus the Latino. So the Premier is gonna include the family share. So three screen at once, normally it's 599, but that's included. So with three screens, that means that they don't have to be in the same household. They can be on the road, they can be at a different location and it should still work. This also includes unlimited screens. So, so this allows you to watch up the 10 devices at the same time on your home connection plus two on the go. So that would account for those three screens as well. So just to further break it down, the Latino allows you to have two screens at the same time. So uh, whether it's in your house or on the go, you only allow two. The other three packages allows you to have three that doesn't have to be in the same household, but when you're in the house and your home connection, you can have up to 10 devices scream at the same time. Now, as far as the compatible devices, uh, this is where uh, a lot of these streaming services really uh, does a good job just making sure that Mostly everyone's included. You can watch on the Amazon Fire TV. So this includes the Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire TV uh, television sets. You also have Android Mobile, Android TV, Apple TV. You can watch any web browser, Chromecast. You can see Hisense, you have your iPads, your LG TVs, Roku, Samsung Smart TV, Vizio Smart TVs, as well as your Xbox. So this pretty much cover most of your devices uh in the comments let me know if there's a device that's left out but like i said for uh, most people is going to have either fire stick or android tv apple tv and that will mostly take care of the needs for most of these streaming applications so let's jump into the user interface what the tv guy looks like so here we are in the web browser and i just want to do a quick run through of the ui then we'll jump over to the tv or android tv then we'll see what it looks like on a mobile device so this is a home screen you can see it, it gives you a highlight of what's happening now so it has the spotlight and scroll down you can see live from my profile so i didn't really pick any favorites during the setup so uh, this is what it's offering and once you start watching more content choosing what you like it will start uh, getting a little bit better with the recommendations one thing i want to test out the dvr so let me just start this recording and then we'll get back to it on another device so recommendations right here and again you can scroll over they have movies for my profile news for my profile sports easy watching everyone loves popular series they also have popular action series they also have a dedicated sports tab and pretty cool how they leave this out guys they have soccer they have football they have basketball hockey golf baseball racing mma so you can see they have a little bit of everything so clicked on sports clicked on basketball and then you can break it down even more so they have nba men's basketball women's basketball let me just click on nba gives you the date gives you what's coming up so, so this one for instance i can see that miami's gonna play milwaukee i can click on recording options i can record the game i can record um either one of these teams or both of these teams so so pretty cool that those options are actually there so next you're going to have your show so of course this is going to be part of the video on demand area so these if they have ads in them ads are still going to be in place because video on demand and dvr are two different things uh, dvr is going to be your recordings and video on demand is going to be just content that's available that's provided by the service so you can see what a play window is going to look like uh, i can do a mini player i can do a full screen you can see volume options as well as your closed caption so scroll down you can see they have a sitcom area they have a crime they have procedural drama popular competition popular shows popular action shows it's a lot of different shows on here a lot of the, the hits a lot of the classics are going to be on here as well so similar for the movies area, you can see what's actually airing you can see my one and only legally blonde we have men in black swat Menace of Society, scroll down. Black history documentaries. We also have comedy, action, drama. So that's going to be a dedicated movies area. And of course, up top, you're going to have the option to break it down by genres. So next is going to be the TV guide. And I am a big fan of this TV guide right here. I love the thumbnails that are being displayed. So when you scroll down, you can kind of see a pop out of what it looks like. This is one of the best tv guides in my opinion the only one that beats this is youtube tv because they do have a live preview but this is 
well executed in my opinion. So to the left, you're gonna have live, you're gonna have view network. So when you click on that, you can narrow it down to what network you wanna view content on. You have trending channels, just added, entertainment, news, lifestyle, different areas, family, sports. So if I wanted to enjoy sports, I can just click on that and you can see it pops up um, the sports stuff that's available. So pretty quick way to kind of get what you need. You can also search for channels up top. So if I want ESPN, you can see that option is there as well. You can add your favorite. So if I watch a lot of NBC, I can just star it. Let's add a couple of them. We'll add ESPN, ESPN as well. All right, so if I click on favorites, you can see they're all here and I can adjust them how I want them to appear save it so when i go back you can see that my favorites are going to pop up top so uh, that gives you a quick way to just quickly get in get to the channels that you like watching and they'll be right up top so a uh, pretty good tv guide really like it and you can see it goes on see i'm in february 17th 18th so it loads a um you're gonna have a, a, at least a couple days of a um, guide there for you to choose from. So my stuff is gonna show what you're recording, it's gonna show you DVR capacity. You can see I am recording Men in Black currently, and we'll check it in a little bit just to see how it handles commercials as far as fast forwarding and rewinding through commercials for your DVR. You can see the amount of hours that you have, the amount that's available, so I'm at 0%. And you can see hours by profiles. So I created two additional profiles, wifey and kids. So if you have a lot of people on your profile, Let's say the wifey's recording a lot. You can kind of see what's happening, who's consuming the bandwidth. So, so that's what it's going to look like on your browser. So pretty good job with this. I love the home page. It has everything you need. Also, love the fact that there's a dedicated sports tab. And within the sports, you can narrow it down to what sport you want to watch. And even further, narrow it down to what Lee you want to watch. TV Guide is one of my favorite. Definitely well done by Fubo. Let's go ahead and we'll jump over to the Fire Stick. So here we are on the Fire Stick. And uh, you can see the three accounts that I, I created popped up once you sign into the account. So let me go ahead and go on my profile. All right, so it gives you the option to pick your favorites again. So if you have a favorite NBA team, NFL team, you can go ahead and do so. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. All right, same thing for favorite shows. And then it goes right into the program. And so on the Fire Stick, the menus are up top, guys. So if you click up, you can see we are at the home tab right now. It's gonna have an identical layout like what we saw on the actual web browser. So uh, this is gonna be your home page, popular series, what everyone's watching, popular action series, and so on and so forth. Go all the way up. All right, look at the sports tab, your shows again. Like I said, same layout to what we just saw. Movies, it's also gonna be a, another video on demand area. Guide. So on the guide, everything that I previously set up, you can see that transferred over. So you remember that I did set two ESPNs and the Wesh NBC, I believe, as my favorites. You can see those are the first two channels within my lineup. Uh, within here, I can still go through. I can see what's on. I can skip ahead. Scroll through all your channels here. You have different options to sort them. So if you only want to see your favorites, you can do that. If you want to see trending, just added. We got lifestyle reality. So reality shows my thing. I can go ahead and click on that, and that will all populate. So after you sign in, this is what you're gonna see. Again, you're gonna have your profiles. Let me go ahead and go to my profile. So really smooth so far. You can see what everyone's watching, what everyone loves, popular action series, popular comedy series as well. Um, on the iPhone, which I'm on right now, you can see the menus are at the bottom. So here's my sports. So I'm gonna tell you what's live. You have entertainment, right? So when you click on entertainment, you're gonna have two tabs up top. You're gonna have your movies as well as your TV shows. So that's gonna essentially be your video on demand area. And last, we have the TV guide. So um, TV guide looks really good on the iPhone at least. It's really smooth as you can see. Uh, you do have those sorting options that we talked about in the in the previous two. You do have the time slots that you can go ahead and play with. And you can also narrow it down by your network. So overall, I think this is a great looking TV guide. And last but not least, you're gonna have my stuff. You can see I am recording Men in Black still. Cool to know that everything really is seamless when you go from, let's say the Fire Stick to your phone, over to your streaming device. Everything's gonna look the same and it's gonna have the same feel. All right, so here we are, the Men in Black finally finished. Let's see if we can play it and fast forward uh, through the commercials. All right, so it looks like we don't have any um, breaks you can see I can skip ahead 
that's a commercial right there i can skip right ahead so uh at least good to know because some streaming services don't allow you to, to fast forward through the commercial even over the dvr so that's at least a plus in my opinion so while we're here the resolution that you're going to mostly see on fubo is going to be 720p however when you start bumping up to those other packages so if you go to the elite or the premiere you will have some 4k content so especially sporting events that you can enjoy but you can see here um video quality for this is uh 720p audio as well is going to be standard or stereo audio so uh, not a lot of 5.1 on the standard definition that's what you should expect uh with fubo tv like I said, some 4K, but it's going to be something that you essentially is going to have to pay for. So let's go over the pros and cons of Fubo TV. Fubo TV is sports heavy. So if you're someone who really don't watch a lot of sports, this probably is not going to be the service for you. However, this is also a service that has those uh, other channels that a lot of people like to watch. So you have your local channels. You have Fox, you have USA, you also have HGTV. So it does have those other channels as well it is sports heavy but if it has the channels that you're looking for then you might be able to look past it as far as the ui ui was very fluid no matter which device we went on so we went on the pc we went on the fire stick over to the iphone everything worked great looked great and i think they have a nice looking tv guide dvr options wasn't too bad um not the best that i've seen the fact that it is a thousand hours just give you a lot of flexibility so if you're someone who's really big into sports this might be the streaming service for you personally i wouldn't recommend it or i couldn't recommend it because of the price guys so you can see this is my free trial right here i did pick the lowest plan which is the pro at 74 dollars a month you can see there's a regional sports fee at 13 dollars 14 dollars there's taxes at 12.33 you can see my monthly bill is a whopping 101 dollars and 31 cents so that's just with me essentially picking the bare minimum i didn't go to the elite didn't go to the premiere and i'm still paying over a hundred dollars but let me know what you guys think in the comment section let me know if you're sports heavy let me know if this service is working for you let me know if there's any discounts that you found that that brings that price down personally i couldn't pay a hundred dollars for fubo tv it's just way too much when i know other services that rivals fubo tv is going for 40 or 50 dollars less and i'll link some other services uh youtube tv with that reviewed sling tv and let me know what you guys think those are going to be last year's review but i'll update them as i get to them in 2023 if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.